create an enumerator now called light shapes. Fill it with point, spot, directional, area, orometric, and end. The end value can be used to check errors such as if type is zero or greater but less than end, so it's within the bounds of the enumerator. Now launch the designer and open our light editor UI. I've already done this for you, but you should do it as well. Uh, create a new label, a new layout, and a comma box. Rename the comma box to UI shape, and save this. And then go down to our light node. Create a new attribute or member called shape. It should hold the string representation of the default value. It's gonna be the first value and that's point and then write the special uh, special property it looks like this just as the other ones and it, nothing is actually unique with it but our data method and our set data method will be changed a bit the return value will be a string we want it to be an integer so the combo box can operate on it so this is how it will look like. So we have our enumerator. It has a member called names. It's a list, so we ask the index of the current shape and then return it. So our comma box can operate on the integer returned. However, our setter actually tries to set an integer. We want to convert it to our string representation. So we do it by using our enumerator and indexing the names member with the value the set data method receives and also don't forget to convert it to a pi object or else you will try to index with a q variant which won't work so this allows our xml code to have the string representation while our models work with the integer representation finally in the controllers file we need to map the data and fill it and fill the comma box with the string representation we start by filling the string representation for our comma box remember our comma box is named UI shape so for all the names if the name is not end we set the add, we call add item on our UI shape now this if this entire loop could be written much easier in a single line but I want to keep it easy for those who do not know those special syntax style you can use with Python. And finally we need to map the data and we do it by writing this. Add mapping the UI and the column we want to map to and then an optional parameter. And the reason we use this optional parameter it actually stands for what property of the of the widget you want to bind to since comma boxes don't usually have a single item you have several items and you want to bind to one of those and which one do you want to bind to you actually want to bind to the current index so our data mapper can actually extract the correct data or the correct index and if we run this now just drag this out a bit. You see that our shapes are defaulted to point. Let's select the light and change the shape to spot, directional, area, volumetric. Everything works as expected. You can see it up here. And I'm doing this with the keyboard, by the way. You might see the intensity rising up here the new range here, far range, cast shadows, and the light shape. And right now this entire thing is editable. You might want to make it readable by going into designer, clicking on the view and scrolling to bottom and then read only save 
So now you've seen how to use enumerated values. Now I have no excuse for my poor writing on the entire editor classes like properties editor, node editor, light editor. A lot of code could be simplified, could be made dynamic and I'm gonna leave that as a task to you. I just don't have the time to do this and I have to go now so thank you for watching this series this chapter of PyQ tutorials I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time on the next PyQ tutorial which will be about dragging and dropping items from different views into other views etc have fun and happy coding